Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and I thought today, um, since it's Halloween, I do a Halloween special video, and I'm going to be playing um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, uh, which is a role-playing game based on, I think I think it's based on the Vampire the Masquerade, the, the sort of role-playing book game. Um, we're not going to, we're going to go for the intro. You must spend all points to continue. Okay, I thought I'd done that, but no, I've got another point here. Let's go... Um, do, 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 do. Let's go for a scholar. Remaining points. I still have a point to use. I think it's, it says remaining points one, and I use it. <laughs> then it says um, <laughs> you got one point left. Oh, I get different points in. Uh, okay, I've got it now. Well, you know, I play, only played the game not that long ago. Um, stealth. Let's choose stealth, and let's have a bit of investigation. Accept. Okay. Now, I'm assuming the intro will go through. Yeah. I think this is where you get turned into a vampire, basically. Aha, there we go. Oh, holy smoke. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege <laughs> of silence. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. Oh dear. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more a judicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society. But I think the vampire woman there is going to die because she uh, has turned me into a vampire without asking permission. Forgive me. By the sound of it. Let the penalty commence. Hey. Oh, here we go. Bosh. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Oop. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of an uprising. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Okay, so I've been turned into a vampire. New, pretty new, new vampire dude. Uh, the woman who turned me into a vampire died because she wasn't supposed to. Um, 
basically. And <laughs> that woman there wandering around in lingerie and stockings and stuff. Is she? <laughs> there is a of that general wear just around the street at night. Adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. He's got a very Understand long body. Predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. <laughs> this is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Okay, so that guy's let us live, and he's sent, he sends us off. Um, he sends us off essentially to do some work for him. Um, oh, holy smoke! And here we are. <laughs> what a scene, man! <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, let's let me show you the ropes. Wait a sec. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and full train life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You went around. Um, duh, duh, duh. just give me the basics. Youngsters these days. Well, your funeral kill. But keep a couple things in mind before you go. Now these lessons aren't just for your benefit, so listen up. First, the masquerade. You hear a lot about this, so let me sum up real quick. Sure, you're a vampire. Great. Keep it to yourself, okay? It's easier that way. Trust me. <laughs> That's the masquerade. Keeping vampire secrets secret. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you violate the masquerade, if you run around spooking humans or whatever, you make things harder on all of us. Then all of us get pissed off and you come after you. And you end up like your sire does. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Then they kill. <coughs> yep, I've got right it. On. Next, humanity. Being a vampire is the end of the road. Think life was hard? Just wait. Now you're half beast, half man, and it ain't quite an easy fit. You're gonna be fighting that beast for the rest of your days. Every time you get into it, whenever you kill an innocent, you beat the beast a little more, and it grows a little stronger. After a while, the beast can take over, and you'll go wild and have to be put down like a rabid dog. So, you know, fight it. Don't be a homicidal maniac. That'll help with the masquerade, too. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Now, with all that said, you still have to keep your ass alive. For that, you're gonna have to feed. That little blood sound we kill. I imagine you're feeling that thirst right about now, huh? Get it where you can, however you can. Just remember the first two lessons. Don't let anyone else see you feeding. Don't flip out and cause you to break the masquerade and cause some bigger, badder vampire to come stomp a mud hole in your ass. Also, drink feet, but don't drain them dry. Yep, I dig it. Righteous. Now, shake off like a good little soldier. <laughs> yeah, I will. Off, come downtown to the last round, and I'll tell you how Jack this whole situation is. Till then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> awesome. Oh, bloody hell. So I think I'll start off in my safe house. Yeah, here we go. This is my safe house. Holy smoke, he moves pretty fast. Woohoo. Anyway, this is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, um, based on the Vampire the Masquerade uh, role-playing game. And it's, uh, it's, it's a it's a role-playing game, essentially. So you've got lots of stats and stuff that you, you raise as you go along. Um, you're a vampire. So on the right-hand side there, you've got your... Uh, I think that's your blood level. 
So when you, or that, I think it might be your magic level actually, um, or is, no, it must be your blood level because it's red. <laughs> and I think you, when you l use your powers, that goes down, and you have to feed to sort of keep it up. Uh, and I think on the left hand side, that's your health, the blue bar, from what I can remember. Uh, I did play the game about a year ago, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm a bit vague on certain things. Um, what have we got here? Oh, no, don't do that. Don't go whacking things, you big spaz. I'm trying to... Oh, great. <laughs> and I think I'm trying to pick that up. Uh, but I should have checked out what the... Uh, what the obviously, what the controls were first, shouldn't I? But I didn't, so there you go. Uh, I'm assuming I've got to pick that up. Now, come on, Bob. How do you pick up things? There we go. Pill ball. Um, yeah, so it's a role-playing game. You've got your stats and everything that, that sort of go up and down. You've got your skills that go up and down. Uh, the Luna, Lacuna Coil uh, advert on the wall there. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and essentially you've been uh, the, the big cheese over in, in uh, um, over in the, the big city there has uh, basically saved your life. You know, he's, he said he's going to keep you alive, although normally they would kill you, I think, <coughs> because you were sired um, sort of, you know, out, out of... Out of wedlock, as it were, <laughs> she didn't get any. The woman that did, didn't get didn't get any position, any uh, permission to do it for you. So to do it to you, I should say. Yeah. So uh, that's the position you're in. You've been sent by the big chief Santa Monica, and you've got to run through some missions now and help him out. Um, now the the, the 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 thing the thing with this game is that it was amongst sort of role players. It was it's really highly regarded, and it is an amazing game. I mean, you know the atmosphere. The, the voice acting, the story, all that kind of thing is really, really good. The problem is, though, is that for me, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a game of two halves, really, because the first p half of the game um, is really good. Um, sort of, ju it's just a, what you would call, I think, it, it's more story driven. The first half of the game, it's more about you, the characters you meet, and that kind of thing. But unfortunately, what I personally found when I first went, when I went through the game originally. <laughs> went through the game originally um, was that it just de degenerates into a game of just combat really that that's the problem uh, for the first part of the game you seem to be able to use quite a lot of the skills that you get intimidate persuasion all that kind of thing but as you get further into the game and particularly towards the end sort of the last sort of the last sort of you know quarter of the game if you like it really becomes based around combat um, and you do have to build your character um, in preparation for that, because unfortunately it does, it does degenerate a bit into um, into combat. Uh, hey, the password for your computer is summarised. Keep the cash in the drawer; it's yours. I've dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Okay. What's this? Uh, at your convenience. Please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave this to guide you. Okay. Dark black curse. Okay. okay. So we've got a note from some guy called M. Strauss. He wants us to come and see him. Um, there should be some money in the drawer. Oh, yep. $100. Cool. Let's log into our email. Uh, password is Sunrise. Oh, I think I caps lock on there for some reason. I'm sure the password was Sunrise, wasn't it? Or maybe I already logged in. <laughs> Let's see if I can access my email. Ah, uh, they want some password now. Summarise. Okay. <coughs> so I've got some emails to read. Mercurio, contact you when you arrive. Uh, that's from LaCroix. LaCroix, I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. Um, next email. Penis enlargement. Yep, cool, I'm going to need that. Uh, Kilpatrick's crime pewter. <laughs> Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's late on his telephone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bit of spam. Uh, email from Mercurio. Welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. Blah blah blah. I should be back at back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number four. Okay. Uh, email from a friend. The game begins. A pawn is removed. Okay. Well, that looks like it. Let's quit out. Yeah. So as you can see. It's, it's a the whole it's a whole nice thing going on. You've got your little emails that you get every now and again that you keep uh, you keep checking on. Um, a bit of telly you can watch, turn you, you can, a little bit of music you can listen to. So it's kind of quite detailed in that regard. I really like that. It's, it's sort of nice touches. I mean, it looks quite nice as well, actually. I think for a, for a game that's uh, quite a few years old now. Anyway, let's head outside. My guy seems to run very very fast. I need lock picks. Can't get in there. Yeah, there is a lockpick skill. You can, you can, you can lock pick, uh, pick locks and stuff. 
No, it can't go in there. Okay. Oh, your newspaper. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. <laughs> oh, okay. We can go in here. I can't use the computer. Okay. Let's head downstairs. Let's head outside. That must be me in 508. Key to pawn shop. Key to pawn shop lobbying lodging. Okay, well, well can I take that? A wallet with nothing in. Okay. No, we can't ac access any of the others, so let's go outside. <coughs> yes, yeah, so as I was saying, it's a role playing game. Um, the first sort of half, three quarters of it. Based around. You, like, you, like oh. change, mister? <laughs> you hungry? I am too. Hmm. We do seem to be all alone in Sally Way. <laughs> Let's choose our option. <laughs> let's uh, let's try feeding, shall we? I don't want to sort of. Uh, there we go. He did say, "Don't." Yeah, there we go. My blood's filling up. I won't. Won't. Don't kill him, obviously, because then you get humanity ratings, and if you keep, kill kill humans, that goes down. Uh, and the, the the lower your humanity rating, the more you turn into a wild animal, um, and and start just randomly murdering people. Okay, it's interesting. Oh, here we go. We're outside now. I'm feeling quite fr quite free actually um, with what I'm doing here at the moment because last time I played the game, I played a Nosferatu. The Nosferatu look a bit scary, so you. Um, yeah, you uh, you have to sort of sneak around and hide in uh, hide in the shadows and go around the back and all that kind of thing. But as I think I'm a I'm a venture, I can't remember who uh, what I am at the moment. Hello. Hey baby, looking for a date? Uh, uh, no, thanks. Cheers. You got strange breasts. Now uh, these obviously these guys. I think we'll probably be feeding on these quite a bit. The old tramps there. This person actually looks like a. A vampire themselves got strange eyes anyway um, and this is the world um, the, the world's sort of broken up into these little these little hubs that you can you can travel around in talk to people all that kind of thing um, there are some you, you sort of take on missions as well like this this the guy's just gone into the uh, hotel there obviously in, in a bit of bother maybe we'll go and speak to him in a minute uh, and there's all sorts of things going on let's have a look up here what we got around here Oh, hello. Hey, baby, looking for a date? Oh, you're not a vampire either. Uh, no, sorry, I'll pass. Sorry. You've got a strange dress. The asylum looks like some sort of club. You can go underground in the sewers as well. When I was a Nosferatu, I had to do that quite a bit because <laughs> people just run away if they saw me, and then the police would come and get me. So uh, it's quite a big hub. This one, as you can see. Uh, is this the asylum? Can we go in? Let's go in. You're entering Elysium. An Elysium area is the domain of a powerful vampire. Ooh. So I'm, I'm, I'm unable to attack anyone or anything in here. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life <laughs> and into my club? That's me. Mm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. <laughs> I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? <laughs> not really. Frightening isn't the word I'd use. Exciting is more like it. Ah, you see, you get you get these options. I've got a pink option there, and you get these options depending on your skills. So let's use that one. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. <laughs> awesome. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out, and the name on all the men's room walls. Okay. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile, and everyone always wants to know who is that. Girl. Well, she certainly thinks uh, a lot of herself. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I don't care. <laughs> that would be mean, wouldn't it? <laughs> I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Okay, off you go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay. Well, the music's quite loud in here. And I sound old. Can you turn the music down a bit? Let's have a chat here. Um, Let's try number one. You think I really? <laughs> mm. What a charmer. Oh dear, no, I'm not going to start. How about a kiss before I go? No, don't, don't bite her. Oh, you spaz. Oh, okay. Well, no one freaked out. I thought they'd freak out. Okay. Hello, chap. Can't talk to him. Let's have a look at the dancing. Hey, let's dance. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, okay, Grandad. That's enough of that. Oh, hello. Jeez, is this place always so dead? <laughs> I love this guy. I love this character. He's got all the he's got all the talk. Drugs? I don't need drugs. But I can share my ecstasy you with you. Too bad I'm not. See ya. Yeah, chat you up then drop you. That's that's how it works. My guy just wants to go around biting everyone. I have to be careful of that, probably. <laughs> um, can we go up in the lift? No, we can't follow that woman. That's just the other side of the bar. There's a real sort of, there's a real goffy looking vampire over here. Well, I'm assuming that she's, uh, she's a vampire, is she? I can't talk to her. So I don't know who she is. She wants to be. She's a wannabe, isn't she? Let's go back outside. So as you can see, like just from the options you can choose when you're talking to characters and stuff, it, it really is um, sort of quite character-driven, and I really like that. And I think that's one of the things that people really loved about the game. Um, just, just that sort of that whole sort of character thing. You know, it's uh, it's really, really good. If, if you're going to play the, I mean, I mean, the game's available on Steam. Um, and I'd recommend, I mean, if you like role playing games, you haven't played it, so I recommend downloading it. Oh, shut up. A lot of people, um, when, a, when the game first came out, it was very bugged, and I think that put a lot of people off. Um, there is an unofficial patch. I think the unofficial patch is, um, I think it's. I think the current version I'm using is 8.3.1. Uh, you, you run the patch, install it into your, your Steam folder where you got the game located. Um, you have to turn off auto updating on Steam, otherwise that will muck up the patch. But the patch cures a lot of bugs, lets you run it in widescreen, um, and, and I think it adds some things as well that appear to have been knocked out of the game. Maybe so. Yeah, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna download and play the game, certainly download uh, the unofficial patch, which I think is version 8.3.1. Right, let's have a look around. What else can we do here? We don't need to feed at the moment. We're, we're okay on, in that regard. We could go into Trips Pawn Shop. But we'll leave that for now. Let's go into this uh, this building here where that guy was crawling in, covered in blood. Let's see what's going on there. I'm assuming they wanted us to go in. I mean, they, there's a little little sort of cutscene of him crawling through. So, um, okay. Ah, can't get in there. Oh bloody hell! Let me shut the door. Hello. Mothers, rip me off. I'm dying here. Oh. <laughs> hey, well, he's not. Uh, what was going on, Evelyns? What? No. I got a record back east on heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. <laughs> the blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. <laughs> what did you 
stop crying like a girl and tell me what all happened. Right, all right. Jeez. <laughs> I think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out. It was that freaking chemist. Guy makes his up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally he does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie bricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a freaking horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. <laughs> Amateur move. Should have handled those bricks. I certainly wouldn't have gone with that shirt. That's probably why he got beat up. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. Okay. Hold on. You think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. <laughs> Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. <laughs> gotta, gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it. I know. Okay. There's no need to be such a freaking prick. <laughs> I was just surprised. <laughs> I could have taken those guys. Yeah. Okay. Sure, you could. I blew it. Believe me, I know. More ways than you can imagine. But you gotta listen to me. Anyone finds out, I'm a dead man. Keep quiet about this and I can get you what you need. Guns, yeah, mate. Maybe. Ammo, anything. Yeah, you right. gotta trust me. I'll think about it. That's what I like about the game, is that you can, uh, it, it's really well done in the sense that you can sort of play it how you want. You know, if you want to be a complete dickhead, you can be a complete dickhead. If you want to be a smooth charmer, you can be. Uh, if you want to be a violent, you can, you can be. You know, there's a lot of options playing the game. And some of the skills, certainly in the early part of the game anyway, uh, some of the skills give you that option. You know, you can choose different dialogue um, options and that kind of thing just to sort of take the uh, conversations in a different way. Um, but it's really interesting. I've really enjoyed playing it. I mean, I've played for it a few times. And I just, I just thought I'd kick off another game just to show you guys for a bit of a Halloween game. And I'm sort of, I'm getting the itch to play it again already. You know, it's... Uh, uh. Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? <laughs> what are wait you doing? That blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town. <laughs> night, night. A dreadful place, don't you think? You should listen to my mechanic. Buy German, he said. I quite like it. Uh, also, I've got some options here. Could I suppose persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. <laughs> Looking for a little company. <laughs> So you could spare a few bucks. Uh, sure, I guess I could spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. I think uh, I intimidated them there. Back on your, feet. <laughs> you know that sure is a nice watch you've got. <laughs> no, I won't steal his watch. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a. I'm not going to be a crook or a thief. I want to be Mr. Suave and charming. Uh, where to next? Right, that guy did send. Did, did give us directions for a quest, didn't he? Something to do with the. Uh, Something to do with going down to the beach and getting something back for him. Uh, blood bank downstairs. Okay, well I don't need to feed at the moment. I won't go down to the sewers because uh, megahertz computing. I'm not sure if I ever got in there. I won't go down to the sewers because it's a bit boring down there. I do have some skills to use. I've got presents. Um, I think I could cycle through them maybe. Can I cycle through my skills? I think I probably can. Public beach access, okay. Hello. Hello. No, it looks a bit glazed over, I can't speak to him. Beach access to the right. Okay, that's for us. Okay, couple of couple of cops will avoid them. Okay. Oh, it's loading in a different zone. This must be the beach area, I think, probably. Great music as well. 
<laughs> the whole the whole style of the game is really really good really good fun oh there's some people on the beach up there through that chain link gate and up those stairs uh what those men you are looking for never mind he wouldn't understand weird well <laughs> what's new thanks <laughs> okay So I've got to, that, that's where my mission is. What's up here? It's just, this is like the pier, doesn't it? Apparently there was a gruesome. Oh wow! Look, there's a wolf up there on the cliff. Did you see that? I didn't. I never seen that before. Wow. He did run away though. This must be the pier where there was a gruesome death. Um, I probably need to watch out for coppers here. There's a policeman up there. Is that a policeman? Yeah. He's probably not going to want me. Uh, mucking around let's muck around anyway <laughs> Madame the Otter's psychic shop <laughs> gone into that oh little arcade a game called oh, I've got River Raid Activision oh, old official games look at that Pitfall Wowzer Rampage Blood Quest, River Raid. Can I play any of them? Is it a bit like Shenmue where I can play a game? No, it doesn't seem so. Oh, that's a shame, that would have been quite nice. Anyway. Whee! Oh, God. There we go. You see, it's a. <coughs> it's got a few little things that will annoy. Like not un un be un unable, being a vampire, but unable to jump over a, quite a short fence uh, and land on the floor. What about this fence? Ah, oh, let's we do that one. <laughs> Fine. Okay, up we go. There might be some combat here, and I have to say, I hate the combat. It is an absolute pain in the arse. But we'll see how we go. I'll probably try and maybe sneak about. If it's possible to sneak about. I wonder if I could just go up and talk to this guy. Just say hello. Let's have a save first. Uh, as you can see, got lots of saved games for this one. New saved game. Okay. Let me just quickly check the options. Crouch. Oh, so there is a crouch. I think that will probably let me sneak around a bit. I wonder if I could just talk up, go up to this guy and talk to him. Seeing as I'm such a charming vampire. Help you. Hello! <laughs> yeah, you can start by moving the hell out of my way. Do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. <laughs> Let's try that one. Just go in. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you just let me in. Now before, obviously, when I was playing Nosferatu, <coughs> I had to kind of fight my way in. Let's go in the building and see what options I've got. Will they start attacking me? No. Oh look, I'm playing a game. It looks like House of the Dead. I guess it could be, couldn't it? Hey guys, playing cards, playing floating cards. Fo they're playing floating magic cards. That's a great game. I want to play that as well. Okay. Well, this this mission's very different to to the last time I played. Uh, I think when I played the game, I think when I played the game way back when, I think I might have done this option before. But last time I played as Nosferatu, obviously, they weren't very happy. Hey dudes. Yeah. You look real good in me. Before we do business, before anything changes hands, I want you to hear this. If you try to cross me, I will fuck you. Ooh. If you tell the cops about me, I will find you. Then I will fuck you. <laughs> you are a cop. Yeah. I will fuck you and your whole family, including that squirrel in your front yard. Now that we know the terms, what can I do to make you walk out feeling like you just flew first class with a cheerleader? 
<coughs> he's pretty tough. He probably doesn't know I'm a vampire, does he? Um, I could intimidate him. Give me the astrolite now and I won't throw your balls into the Pacific. <laughs> we'll go for that one because I want to end this video soon, guys. This was just, this was just a, a special Halloween look at Vampire the Masquerade. So there could be a fight here and I could die horribly, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> I like my balls where they are right now, thank you very much. Shh. You have got to be one of the stupidest motherfuckers in existence. <laughs> what I tell you when you came in here, huh? Get the boat ready, boys. We going shark fishing. Uh oh. Oh bloody hell. Come on. Something blew up. <laughs> oh, you suffered a final death. <laughs> I think there was probably some magic there I could have used, but uh, but I didn't. Should have done. You suffered a final death. Okay, guys, there we go. That's been a quick Halloween special look at Vampire the Masquerade. It's an awesome role-playing game. Um, I think I, I don't think I probably explained. I don't think I could sort of review the game particularly well, particularly at the beginning. Um, but you've seen the game. I hope you get the idea. It's a marvelously, marvelous story-driven uh, role-playing game, which I recommend downloading from Steam. Don't forget the patch, the unofficial patch. You'll need that to play the game because it's uh, the original game is really, really bugged. Um, yes, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and I'll speak to you again soon, guys. Thanks for watching.